When I look back at my life five years ago, it's honestly kind of hard to imagine that five years has already passed since then. I was 17 years old, I was about to graduate high school, and I really had no idea what my life had in store for me after that. It's just really crazy of how much I've done since then. So I thought today I could look back at what I've done and look forward to the future and see what I might do in the next five years and kind of write a little letter to myself to when I'm 27, which is five years from now, and take a little guess as to what my life might be like, or at least have some sort of insight of what I would tell myself then, what I know now. Looking back, I was pretty confused on what I wanted to do. I know for sure that I wanted to get out of what I was doing, which was being in school every day. And I was so ready to like get out and explore. That's all I wanted to do. And I wanted to simplify my life. It was during this part of my life that I just like got an obsession with like simple things. Like I wanted to take everything to its roots and just simplify my life as much as I could. I wanted to get a cell phone that literally just called and texted. I never did, but that was like something that I wanted to do. I wanted to have all of my music on CDs. I wanted to only take pictures with like either Polaroids or like film cameras. Like I just wanted everything to be basic. And I don't know if it was just metaphorically, but I wanted my entire life to just be to the roots of like what it could be, like just bare roots. And with that, I wanted to travel and I just wanted to travel all over the place. There was so much that I had not seen yet. And I had just had like this sense of adventure in me that I wanted to go explore and see so many new things. Yeah, it's definitely safe to say that I did over the next five years. And yeah, I saw a lot. I took a whole huge road trip. I converted a little cargo van into a camper and I just drove all across the country and saw all sorts of stuff. And that was something that was a huge goal of mine five years ago was to do something like that. I really wanted to just kind of get up and leave and leave everything that I knew behind. And while I didn't necessarily leave it behind, I did just go and explore. The last five years definitely had some of the best memories of my entire life in them, but it also probably had the worst. It was definitely not easy at times. There were so many hard moments for me, especially like right after high school. That was a part of my life that I never need to go back to again. And I learned a lot from it though. Like I grew so much as a person because of that. And I know myself a lot more. That's one thing when I look back now at who I was, it's like looking at a little kid. Like, I don't, I know him, but I, he has so much to learn still that, yeah, it's really, it's really hard to comprehend at all. But I was so like innocent in how I saw the world. Like I was so optimistic, which I still am, but I had just not experienced difficulty really up until later on. And my life was just so like per picture perfect at that time, I guess that it was everything I wanted it to be. And soon after, when you watch that fall apart, it's very difficult because then you suddenly don't have everything you want and you don't really know what you want exactly. So that was something that was really hard for me throughout the past five years, but especially after high school, like I said, it is weird though, because when I look back at myself, then it really, it just really doesn't feel like that long ago. But then when I look at how much I've done since then, it feels like forever ago because I've, I feel like I've filled a lifetime in the past five years and it's only been five years. So it's weird to think like, oh, just five years ago, that was me. And I didn't have so much of the knowledge and experience that I do now. 
but it still was only five years ago. So it's not like it was that long ago. So I can still look back and be like, yeah, that felt like, you know, a few years ago, because it was. But yeah, five years ago, I was about to graduate high school. And five years later now, I'm about to graduate college. And I see myself kind of in the same spot that I was five years ago, because I want to explore again. Like I'm so ready to see new things and do new things. And yeah, I just have like this same exact feeling that I had then to just get out and do stuff and explore. And obviously a lot of that is just because of being stuck inside because of the whole pandemic. But still, even without that, I think I would still have the same exact desire like I did five years ago. So I don't really know where the next five years are gonna go, to be honest. I just know that I need to do something new. I need to explore. And other than that, I'm just really, I don't know, I'm at such a weird point in life right now where people ask me what I'm gonna do after college. And I'm like, I, I really don't know. Like, I know that I don't want a traditional job by any means. I definitely don't wanna sit at a desk every day from nine to five and work for someone else and have someone else tell me what to do because that sounds like the worst thing in the world to me. So I hope at 27, I'm not doing that. And I think it'd be really cool if I was still making YouTube videos because I love doing this. And in a sense, it's working for myself because I'm just getting to create my life and share my life. And as a result, people watch it. And yeah, it's just awesome to be able to do that. That's one thing that I think five years ago, me would absolutely love to see is how big my YouTube channel is now. Because five years ago, I was making videos. They were on a different channel. I'll have the link in the description. But yeah, it's weird how I made them then. And it was just me doing it for my own sake of just having something to look back on. And just for the entertainment of making videos, because I love doing it. Even watching those now, they don't really feel like that long ago. I feel like it's just, just part of my continuous journey. But yeah, it would have been just really cool to be able to show myself then what I'm doing now and how much it's really grown and how many people watch my life and care about it and actually sit through a whole video of me telling myself what I'm going to be like at 27. And I just hope that everything I make, I'm not doing it just to do it and that I'm actually doing it because I want to and because it's something that I really enjoy doing like I am now. I also hope that I will have bought a house by then because that is something that I really want. It's just a house with a yard and land and just be able to like walk around outside at my own house. It would just be so cool to be able to have that. And I also hope that the whole pandemic is over because that would not, that would not be fun if that was still around. So hopefully that's gone. And I also hope that I will have traveled way more than I could have ever imagined. I hope that I've been to Europe by now and I hope I don't know, maybe all over the world. I definitely want to go to Europe and I want to meet so many new people. And that's really like a huge goal I have for myself is just meet new people and connect with people and just make new friends and like have people to hang out with and talk to. I think especially after the whole pandemic is over, people are going to want to be together more than ever. So I really think there's going to be a lot of opportunity in the years ahead for that. And I just want to meet so many people from YouTube too. Like so many people that watch my videos, I would love to do a meetup with. I think that'd be the coolest thing ever to get to meet someone in person that has watched me online because I feel like that connection is going to be the coolest thing ever. I also hope that in five years that Christian and I are still together and doing good as always. And maybe we'll even have another pet at that point. Maybe Lufkin will have a cat friend or maybe even a dog friend. I don't think that I will have any kids at that point, but who knows, maybe, but probably not. <laughs> it's just so weird to imagine looking back at this video now in another five years and just looking at my life now in another five years and thinking about how different it is, kind of like how I'm doing right now, looking at the previous five years. And yeah, it's weird that I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna be like, oh, you had no, you had no idea what was gonna happen. And it's kind of scary in a way to think about that because there is going to be a lot that happens that I have no idea about. And hopefully it's good. I hope that overall the next five years are even better than the last. 
And I hope that I have so many more memories to have and stories to share. And I'm sure I'm gonna learn a lot along the way too. So I just hope I stay true to myself and I hope everything turns out okay and that my life doesn't fall apart over the next five years. And if it does, then, you know, I probably will have learned a lesson from it. It's just so weird to think about like sharing the next five years of my life online and getting to share that with people and getting to meet people. Yeah, it's just, it's really weird to me, but it's so cool to think about. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.